In this video, we're gonna go from absolute nothingness to this beauty. Let's begin. I first created a new project, stole some assets from the original game, dropped them in, and tried building a map. Didn't quite work the first time. Here's the character that we're gonna be using. After importing the sprite sheets, I attached a default template script for a 2D platformer character, and well, we definitely don't need gravity here. So now that the character doesn't fall through the ground, we can move left and right, and after implementing the other directions, we can now move freely. Here's some moonwalking. With horizontal flipping implemented, it already kinda looks like Nuclear Throne, and I'm really proud of that. I then added a camera following the player, and then some collidable walls. They don't look quite right here, but I'll fix it later. Now we're ready to start implementing the first enemy, and... Who better to steal from the original art? I basically copied the character and changed the idle animation, so no wonder it didn't work right. After fixing the rat, I decided it was time to kill it. So let's talk about the character's abilities for a second. In Nuclear Throne you have special active ability for every character and also some passive stats. As for actives, this character can shoot two bullets at once, this one can shield and fish. Fish can roll. Our character will be able to hold three guns at once, four with a mutation. They will be rotating around the character and pointing outwards, and you will be able to shoot them all at once. It is highly likely going to be overpowered, so we will balance it out by probably extended reloads or something like that. I first made the gun orbit the player and then look at the cursor with some interpolation so it looks smooth. As always, it took several tries to make shooting work correctly, but in the end it looked decent. I added an on-hit effect, paralyzed the ret, fixed it and added some flashing, then removed the background finally, and that's the result for the first day of work. The second day started with making the death effect for the rat. I then gave it some health and killed it, made it chase the player, added the running animation and player detection. And then it was the player's turn to die. I drew a very silly sprite and it looks quite ugly and the whole thing looks quite ugly. But that's the result for the second development session. After that I was working in very short sessions, so it's not gonna be mentioned. At some point I was getting cornered by a rat and it was so scary that I killed myself. At this point we can kill rats and they can kill us. Absolutely beautiful. Time to improve the tile set. Thank you, mister. I added more tile variations and made it so that the player can move closer to the wall. I figured out how to do the one-shot particle effects, so you can see the empty shells flying out of the gun, and the goal is for them to bounce a bit on the ground and then stick to it for a minute. I added a health bar and started working on the visuals. First I replaced the gun and the bullet sprites, also added some flash effect on the shot, and you've probably noticed the recoil already. After tuning the visuals, I started working on picking up several guns. They're supposed to rotate around the player and point in opposite directions, but this looks like a very cool ultra mutation and it seems really powerful. Then all I did was move the guns further away from the player and I got this very interesting bug. This is how it was supposed to work. And this is what we get if we increase the distance between the gun and the player. The player has this gun detection area around it, and when the distance between the player and the gun is greater than the radius of this area, the gun, when shot, is recoiled back into the area and added to the internal list of owned guns. So when the player shoots from multiple guns at the same time, I go through the list of guns and shoot each one of them. But then, this list contains multiple copies of the same guns, and what happens is that we shoot the same guns several times, 
and they all have recoil from those shots, so they recoiled so ridiculously far away from the player that the bullets get spawned from outside the screen. But then the guns return to their desired position almost immediately, so we see nothing happening. Then I wanted to add shadow copies under the guns. I fixed the issue and added a little floating animation. I never explained it, but what you see on the screen is selecting a different gun as the main. Then I found an outline shader on GodotShaders.com and used it to make guns selectable when picking. Here's a little demonstration of why having multiple guns is very cool. Here's the last thing that I worked on for this devlog. We pick the guns, we kill all the rats, the portal is spawned, we enter it, and we are moved to a different level. The state of the character is not yet preserved, but this is something that we'll be working on next time. If I've already made any other videos, you'll see them on the screen. Go watch them.